Okay, everybody, welcome back to the office. So for our Q&A, we've got Brad Cam, and he is the co-founder of Unstoppable Domain. So the question always is, um, for difference with subscribers, are two questions. One is, Rob, what should I invest in? And for that, I have no idea because I'm not a financial advisor. And the second thing is, is as far as like crypto domains for Unstoppable Domains, what type of industries or what type of domains should I get into? Again, I don't have that type of information, but my man here does because he sees all the data and all the information that we are not privy to. So Brad, thanks for coming in and doing this quick Q&A of the day. Thanks a bunch for having me. Sure. And yeah, you know, I mean, I think we, we get this question a lot and, you know, I don't know that we're experts either. I think this is a, <clears throat> excuse me, this is a new industry. So I think that the thing that everyone's trying to figure out right now is what are going to be the similarities between the traditional domain industry uh, and the blockchain domain industry? And then what are going to be the differences? And, you know, I was, I think I was maybe started buying domains in like 1998 myself, dot com domains. So I kind of went through this, you know, cycle. I bought a couple of good ones, but not too many. I, I don't think I was amazing at it or anything. Um, but the things that I think everybody was really into at the time were like, uh, so there was, you know, gambling related stuff. There was sports related stuff. I think my only successful sale ever was fantasy football, F U T B O L, um, dot com. Yeah. And then I think that, uh, so those were the things that I think, oh, and also, you know, marijuana related terms and stuff like that, that, you know, wound up being, wound up being pretty important. Uh, and I think the reason why they wound up being important was for sort of a, a strange reason, because a lot of the uh, ad platforms wouldn't let you buy ads around uh, weed terms. And so if you had this domain, it was like the only way for people to find it. So people were actually typing it into the search, sorry, typing it into the web address bar instead of just into the search bar. So that was kind of a quirk of history that made, uh, that made marijuana related terms uh, pretty interesting. I remember uh, back in those days. I do remember. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, just from what we're seeing, you know, with, you know, folks on the blockchain domain side, uh, people are people are interested in a lot of crypto related terms. I think that's, you know, anything that is any in any way associated with crypto or crypto meme is probably where uh, a lot of the focus is going. I think people are also, you know, going after, you know, traditional industries like travel and healthcare and uh, finance and other stuff like that. Um, so we're seeing that stuff. We're seeing crypto stuff. I think the one other area that maybe is like a little uh, unique about blockchain domains that doesn't probably happen quite as much in the traditional world is that these can also be, you know, domains for your personal website or for people to pay you personally. So names uh, and things like that are a little bit more relevant in this world than they are in the old world. So that's another thing that we're seeing is people trying to get their names. Whereas like in traditional world, having your, your name is your domain name. Maybe that matters, but maybe you care a little bit more about your email address. Maybe you care a little bit more about um, something else. So. Yeah. Makes sense. I think I, for us, when, when I try to describe it, like why people would do it, there's, there's always a couple of reasons. First of all, your name, because you can get paid in cryptocurrency, right? So Bitcoin, Ethereum, every other type of cryptocurrency that you want to, wouldn't that be great if you could just have, your name, Joe Blow dot crypto, and this goes right there. So it's like super simple instead of those long hash graphs. Fantastic. And then of course I saw that sex dot crypto just sold a couple of days ago for I think it was ninety thousand dollars. So not that that is like the the uh, typical type of uh, what's going to actually happen, but I can see as as, as you were saying it, names I, I can understand the uh, industries, you know, crypto and things like that. But if we look like I was thinking like five ten years down the road. What are these these um, regular industries that we see right now, especially like with with finance and banks, and then branching off into like like pharmaceuticals and healthcare, and just the just the, the regular actual business names where they could put dot crypto or dot zill? How much would that be worth? You know, going further, like these are the types of I think plays that are like way down the line, but I think they could be huge, just like with your uh, fantasy football and marijuana. Imagine if you get like like a marijuana type of website back in the '90s, and what it actually is for today, as far as like the states that can actually actually legalize it, it'd be huge. It'd be uh, you know a watershed moment. But who knows? I don't know. Yeah, I think the one thing I would keep in mind is is that that you know for you know for your listeners out there is is that you know 
one of the things, the thing that's super important for domain names is making them useful. Like, so, you know, you have a way to get traffic and once you figure out a way to get traffic, that's really what, you know, that's really what's going to make your, your domain name important. And I think one of the reasons why people are thinking about industries like porn industry, like marijuana industry and others is because those are, you know, legal activities, at least the legal activities in the U S uh, that have issues with the current tools. So you know, those types of places when the current internet really isn't quite working for you, uh, even though you're not doing anything wrong, that's a great place for, I think, crypto in general to step in, um, crypto payments to step in, blockchain domains to step in. Uh, those, of course, aren't the only industries that are, that are, that are relevant. Um, but those are, those are things that other people have been throwing out there as, as potentials. Um, and again, this is not our prediction. Uh, we do not make predictions about what's going to be the best domain name. I don't think that we're the experts at that. Uh, we're technology builders. So we're trying to build a revolutionary new domain registry. How the ecosystem rolls out over the course of the next 20 years, I think there's probably, uh, there might be better people to predict exactly how that's going to go. We're just watching and uh, observing and seeing these kind of early trends, but it's, it's really, it's really early. And, you know, the other thing that's, you know, happening on the ground right now are DeFi apps, uh, people actually launching, you know, dApps on, on, uh, on uh, blockchain domains. And so that's another category. So I know I already talked about finance, um, but just, just to kind of make it real for everybody, the stuff that people are actually doing today, which I think should be, you know, kind of, if you're trying to think about how to, you know, how to focus, um, the stuff that's actually happening today should give you a hint of, you know, maybe what's going to be there tomorrow. So I kind of see it like what you said in the beginning, get your name because it's going to be easy to accept payments. Right. And then maybe like to get traffic to your website, maybe something like for like blog or something like that, then look towards DeFi, perhaps maybe something around there and then cryptocurrency and then way far away what I was talking about. Okay. Got it. All right, Brad, thanks so much. I appreciate it. I know you're a busy guy. So that is it for today. All right. So I hope that helped a little bit uh, for a Q of the day. Now, if you want to sign up and take a look at uh, different domains for Unstoppable Domains, there is a link in the description of every one of my videos. It's going to look like this. And this will take you directly to the Unstoppable Domain site. Uh, a lot of good things out there. I've already bought two. I think I have three now. And uh, we'll see what all works out. Maybe in a couple of years, I could be a millionaire, but I don't think anybody's going to want to buy Dan Likes Crypto or Dan Likes Crypto or Dan Teaches Crypto. Maybe not, but who knows? All right. So I want to say thanks again for watching all the way through. Really appreciate it. If you like those types of videos, there's going to be two more that's going to pop up on your left and right. Not for sure because YouTube handles all of that, just like the ads you may have seen on this video. So if you saw a scam ad in the beginning, middle, or even after this, uh, go ahead and talk to YouTube. They'd love to hear from you. So that's it for today. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you on the next one.